Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2 Blind. I'm Spectral Star, and I'm a very, 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 very lucky individual. Oh my god. Did I mention I was lucky? Well, damn it, I'm super lucky. And the only reason that I'm so lucky is because I wanted to play Star Wars Battlefront today. And, or Battlefield, was it Battlefield? I can't remember what the name of it was. I think it was either Battlefront or Battlefield. I know I'm stupid. But anyways, I updated my drivers, and then I remembered, oh my god, updating my drivers makes this game unrecordable because of Windows 10. At least that's... I'm blaming it on Windows 10. I don't know. It's probably not their fault, but that was... That was so scary. It was so damn close. I couldn't believe that I did that. And so when I went back to fix it, uh, I ran into even more problems because the uh, the game was unrecordable and stuff and I tried to uninstall or actually I first tried to roll back the driver but it was like no fuck you so I decided to update the driver again because uh, GeForce or NVIDIA gives you the opportunity it gives you the the ability to update your drivers to the most current version no, t no matter how far back you you are you can always go back sort of or go forward more than once it doesn't just update you straight to the the ultimate version or whatever I know I'm twisting my words around and I really can't explain myself to that good of a degree and this update driver technical jargon and bullshit uh, I got some dirty Yes, we know, Marcus. You've got one hell of a wedge. You keep telling us this. But, I, uh, okay, here's the funny thing, though. When I uninstalled the driver, I didn't realize what the hell I was doing. And when I did that, it changed my resolution. It fucked everything up on my desktop and everything. And it just, I had to fix certain things back. And I was, I was pretty much scared for my life there, because I thought, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to record this game again, or retinal scanner. That's awesome. Can't believe there's a fucking retinal scanner. Failed to learn anything. Can I learn something from this? Probably. Oh, look, another tourist. You guys are all sheep peasants. Well, speaking of seafood, I had some Captain D's yesterday, and it was wonderful. And I'm not, I'm not being paid by Captain D's. I just want to let you know that <laughs> Captain D's could give a rat's ass about me. Oh, there's this ship over here. Maybe we ought to go into it. But, okay, so, continuing my story, when I actually uninstalled the driver and it all fucked up, I realized that I couldn't download the driver again. I did download the driver, but I couldn't install it. It was like, no, fuck you, you ain't got no fucking GeForce components or anything like that. And I'm like, bullshit, I got two 980s in this biatch. I got more, I got more GeForce components than... A lot of people that live near me and I'm not bragging about that it's, it's a poor community I'm not poor but I'm middle class I guess female punk huh I'm unique just like everyone else <laughs> yeah that's a uh, that's a good way of looking at it sweetheart so this ship kind of reminds me of a place in Fallout 3 that I'm not going to spoil Male tank maybe tanker mate. I'm my own boss. I got my own t shirts and everything. I, don't know, I just wanted to add to that. Bald punk. 
Oh my God, child, I, I, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? I'll tell you, I, it's that I got drunk last week, started gambling with Lao Chow, and lost. I was so blind drunk uh, that I bet my spleen. Now he has it, and I need it back. What the hell? You sold your spleen? Yeah, I sold it. I was drunk. Plus, I think Lao Chow slipped some jet in my drink. I need my spleen back because I'm getting infectious now. This is exactly how I felt when my graphics cards were taken away from me. <laughs> uh, well, hell, I'll, I'll take a look for it. I really appreciate this. Go talk to Lao Chow the merchant and tell him I need my spleen back. I'll be back. I don't know why we're helping this guy. I mean, he's stupid enough to bet his spleen. I don't care if he was on jet. It's fucking stupid. So, after I did all that and uninstalled and tried to reinstall by going to G or NVIDIA's website, they were like, oh, well, you know, you can't do that, blah, 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 and everything. So, I had to system restore. That's what everybody does when shit goes downhill or goes south real fast. And luckily, I had a system restore from earlier today when I uh, uninstalled a Mayflash PS3 controller uh, compatibility thing. Or wireless adapter, basically what it was. So I got lucky there. And, uh... Holy shit! Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit. You guys got an infestation down there. You realize this, no? Holy shit, that was that was certain death. But yeah, okay, so I re a system restored back to when I got rid of that May flash thing and I'm not I'm not owned by Mayflash. <laughs> PS3 wireless component. And uh, when I did that, the system restore worked, but I couldn't get into my GeForce Experience uh, application. So that pissed me off. Got mad, mad, madder, madder, maddest. Eventually, I restarted my computer, went to GeForce's website, and downloaded the son of a bitch again. I'm Jenna, may I help you? And then it and then it finally worked and here I am. And I promised I was crossing my fingers when I was opening the application I said please work. Please work and then I got to recording this game and I was like please don't be a green screen with audio. Please don't be a green screen with audio. That's exactly what they look like when you try to import them to my Sony product if the driver is not the the right driver. If you go up a driver then you're screwed. So I was crossing my fingers and I said oh my god I'm going to record like a shitload of episodes all at once if this works and that's why I'm here recording this right now. I would have done it eventually but you know. Anyways, hi I'm Jenna. May I help you? Uh, sure. Uh, well I want some information. I've learned that the less you know, the longer you live. I have no other information for you. <laughs> Would you like to see my goods? Yes. Great, have a look. In other words, shut up and don't talk to me about anything. There's 69 Jimmy Hats right there. Jimmy Hats. You know what? Uh, that's another name for your penis. A Jimmy. What is this? Trying to pigs. These people have a lot of things. They have a lot of things with stuff. I don't really want these buff outs, but... Why don't I sell them then? I'm afraid somebody's gonna need them. That's why I don't sell them. That's why I don't sell anything, because I'm afraid I'm gonna need it. Oh, okay, well... What did she say? She said something. About a lockpick. I have that shipment. I hope that shipment comes in soon. I'll have a great day then. Okay. Well, I bet her shipment got robbed or some shit like that, and it's probably like a, a quest. Uh, no. 
Okay, well, there's guns over here. Let's go see what the gun salesman's got. It's not a wall, that's a female punk. Good to day to see you, miss. How uh, may I help you? Want some information? I have uh, no information to sell. I deal only in weapons. You want to see my wares? Yes. I think you'll be pleased with my selection. Take your time and examine things. Uh, alrighty. Shit. Yeah, Psycho. That's some crazy stuff. Jet's bad and all, but I bet Psycho's even worse. Mega Power Fist. Oh my sweet goodness gracious. That is a badass weapon. It has 25 out of 25 shots. Oh, really? It doesn't explain more than that. But holy Christmas tits. That is a powerful ass weapon. Whew. Boy, if I had the money to get that mega power fist, I would. I mean, we got a regular power fist and we could probably upgrade it, but... Actually, that might be a good idea. Just rob this dude blind. Hey, what you got over here? Back from Orius. Okay. He doesn't have anything else, though. That's sad. He's got the Mega Power Fist, and that's it. That is kind of weird. I'm good. Then I bid you good day. Yeah, I don't blame you. Take it back here. That looks like Tycho. Man, I miss Tycho. God, I miss Tycho. Do you guys miss Tycho as much as I do? I miss the shit out of Taco. Okay, so, alright. Can't go in there for some reason. It's... These places exist, but... Where are the regular ass people around here? There's junk over there. Male tanker va vagrants, and... and that's it. It's kind of sad. Well, I guess we could go talk to the bartender. Friendly looking punk. Huh. I'm unique, just like everyone else. I remember my ex girlfriend. I, I remember being a kid, and everybody was trying to be unique. Even me, I was like, okay, what can you do? What can I do for you, Mama Jamma? Who are you? I'm Mark. I'm the resident smartass and know it all. He smiles. Oh, I like this guy already. What is this place? This is the Poseidon Marine Vessel Valdez. It's also called the PMV Valdez. If you want more information about the Valdez, the best person to ask is the captain. The captain, who's that? The captain is a tough-ass old military guy. He sits upstairs there and checks the place out. He's got some thorough knowledge about the ship. Thanks, I have more questions. Who's in charge? In charge? No one's in charge of us. Where do y'all come from? Oh, all over the wasteland. We'd heard things about San Francisco passed down from the elders. Some of us have ancestors who used to live here before the Great War. You want to hear more? Yeah. We're a band of musicians, tech heads, geeks, and artists. We thought we'd come back to someplace famous for artistic and personal freedom. I come here to spawn. <laughs> Want to hear more still? Yes. Well, then, we got... Well, when we got here, we figured we'd camp out here until we either figured out how to get this tanker moving again or until we thought of something else. Have you figured out how to move the tanker? I think the captain's figured out how to do it, but we need several elements first. We've basically given up on taking it ourselves. To tell you the truth, we've got other plans now. What are they? You want to know what our plans are? We're going to keep moving around until we find a place that it hasn't been screwed over by human greed, and then we're going to try to set up a better society. You know how you're going to do that? We're hoping that we can avoid society's mistakes. Hell, things can't get much worse. Tell me about the Hubologists. They're crazy. Don't trust them unless you're mentally feeble or like being screwed over. They're interested only in your money and your soul. And there's a good chance they'll destroy the one 
to get the other. I've seen it happen too many times. Tell me about the she. They're a good sort as far as they go. They're a little untrusting of outsiders, but then that's not always such a bad attitude and to take in these times. They've got some weird customs and they talk funny, but they're all right. Okay, I have other questions. Nothing by. Okay, so that was very interesting. Bartender, want some information? Some information, huh? Well, I ain't no library and this ain't no computer room. Drink up or get out. Want some booze or not? Yeah. Fine. If this shit don't kill you, nothing will. <sighs> well, it will kill you in large doses, but anyways. Damn it. I'm done looking at your booze, sir. That's it for you? Yes. Okay. I'm done looking at your booze, old man. Oh, here's, here's stairs. Damn. Now, where is the cap? There he is. <laughs> he looks just like Ian. What the hell do you want? I don't speak to anyone unless they're friends or good people. Do something for one of my buddies and then come talk to me. Alright then, let's uh... Flirt with you, but I'm just not interested. Well, I'm going to check out your fucking computer. Welcome to PosidonNet. This terminal is limited to transmission between one tanker, PMB Valdez, and docking rig. Command. Uh, check status. Fuel tanks, empty cargo hold, empty navigation computer, non-functional, mooring lines attached. Back. Go. Fuel tanks, empty. <laughs> Buy some? Well, it looks like you're fucked. Hmm. We definitely have some interesting music going on here. That is for sure. Now, where's one of his buddies? Well, let's try to science these consoles then. And that's it. <laughs> that's this place in a nutshell, everybody. There's nothing I can do for that. Alright, so we need to find somebody's buddies. Talk to this kid. Uh, all right, nothing. All right, so punk wearing a half smile. Maybe this is a guy we need to talk to. <coughs> he belches loudly. What do you want? Belch. He summons another throaty burp. Belch louder. He spits forth a hor horrific belch that defies the very heavens in its volume and depth. Applaud. <laughs> oh, okay. Who are you? I'm Badger. I used to have a hand or a band. So they called themselves There We Smolder. There We Smolder. Now I'm the resident computer tech in San Fran. What sort of computer stuff do you do? Well, let's just say I'm an information retrieval specialist. What does that mean? It means that I can find data you need. I see. Cool. I have more questions. Can you tell me about this tanker? You ought to talk to Mark or the captain about that. Where can I find Mark? I usually find Mark down in the bar. I guess that was Assy McGee over here. More questions. What do you do here? Resident computer genius. Oh, I already asked him this. Okay. I'm looking for some fuel. Does she have all the fuel around here? I could take a gander at their mainframe for you. Can you? Yeah, but it'll cost you. What's your price? You gotta do me a favor first. My girlfriend got herself lost in the tanker. Find her for me and I'll do it. You got it. Couldn't I just technically like... 
you know, just a bit, 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 Guess not. Yep, I guess she's down here, right? Holy Christmas. <laughs> uh, this could be really bad. Let's get this, and... Might as well. Eh. Really? Nothing. The ganglion! I believe I missed. Okay, well, at least we're near a ladder. We'll be able to escape if we have to. Damn. Tough alien was hit for three points. I feel like we're in the worst damn place ever. Ever imaginable. Oh shit, sorry, Marcus. Damn it. I don't believe we're gonna make it out of this. Damn. That centaur is tough. It's a weird centaur, too. Oh shit, there she is. I don't think we're gonna make it out of this alive. Damn it. Uh, let's shoot the centaur in the eyes. Dead centaur. Awesome. Sound like little farts in a way. I'm pretty tough though, I gotta admit this uh combat armor does really good. Okay. Uh the uh the ovipositor. Yeah, that'll show you. Actually it did show him. I have nowhere to go. Oh god. Can we kill all this? I'm actually kind of wondering. It's kind of going to be interesting to see. We haven't really seen much combat in a long time. Four points, is that all you got, you little scooter? I believe... Wow, Marcus is just a beast. Okay, we need... We need some... Uh, we need some health here. Luckily, we can just come in here and get as much as we want. Got a shitload anyways, why not? Probably need to spread some of this out to my other party members, but... As far as I can see, that's not gonna be that big of a deal. Uh, what's going on? Am I down or something? Oh, I got you. I might as well reload. They're all attacking me too, which is, which in my opinion is kind of good. Whoa, except for that 23 hitter. Holy crap. There's my super stim packs. I might as well go ahead and use that. Well, I could sell those, I guess. There's really not much of a point in having those except for saving time. Kind of open to save these stim packs for like the enclave and stuff, but we're gonna try to do this. And if I can't make it through, then I'll probably cut this crap out or something. Which I really, honestly, don't need to be recording this.
critically hit for no damage. Feel the pain. This is going to be a 30 minute episode. Live or die, ladies and gentlemen. We're making up for some lost time with the combat and stuff. Let's do this. Uh, the groin socket. And that shit hurts, don't it? It feels good. God, I wish Marcus would friggin' do something. Marcus, hello. Thank you, Marcus. Really? Six hit points and that's it? Should have positioned myself near the, uh, Whoa! I'm gonna try to kill this one guy over here if I can. Okay. I cannot get there. Okay, shit. He made the noise. Well, alright. We're gonna try to kill that one and then run for it. If at all possible. God, I hope we can. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. Gotta wait. Sulik, stay alive, please. I don't think it's gonna be as... For fuck's sake. Shouldn't have come down here. I wonder if we could have sneaked through. Seventeen hit points. Is that me or these things never want to die, man? I, I wouldn't doubt it if I died right here. I mean, it's okay if I do because it's going on thirty damn minutes this episode. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, guys. You have died. Your village is lost, doomed to die of starvation. I think they're probably gonna be slaved, enslaved, and shit. Uh, probably, but. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Fallout 2. There's going to be some annotations after this video uh, that take you to other playlists and other links. If you click on those, you can go see other work that I do. And I hope you guys enjoy, uh, are enjoying the series. And I hope you come back for the next episode. See ya. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm Spectral Star, and I'm back with some more Super Mario Maker. I almost said Super Mario World, but... Today it's week two and we're going to look at some other things that my friends have done and we're going to look at some of the uh, custom courses and stuff.